Hey, what do what do traders welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video, we will be looking at another powerful forex trading trick that is definitely going to blow your mind, guys. So do stick till the end of this video, guys, without wasting any of your time that I get on with it, right? So here, guys, uh, one hour time frame or four hour time frame, still the same thing, right? So now, if you can just somehow closely look at that structure right there we can clearly see that we do have ourselves a very very choppy what a very very choppy structure there right but now also we do see that we somehow do have that support zone where we can see that we somehow also have this support zone right there and also we do see that price just has uh, recently came to the support zone and it has formed this little structure right there mind you guys we are on our four hour time frame do not forget that right so now i want you guys to basically look at this right just look at this what do you guys think this is let me just go there and let us just do this what do you guys think this is let's just grab this there we go so now price came to our support zone and then it gave us a what and then it gave us a bullish and gaffing candlestick pattern right there as you guys can see and then what followed a bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern followed right as you guys can see there was a bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern here is a bullish and gaffing candlestick pattern so this basically formed on our support zone you must know guys that once you see this thing just know just know that your entries are going to be killed you will have very very accurate entries right so why am i saying that stick with me guys stick with me stick with me right so here if you can just somehow close look at the structure here let us just come here and we can clearly see here that we did have ourselves a flip zone right there and then what happened next what happened next let us just closely observe what happened next let us just closely observe what happened next and then we had ourselves a what and then we had ourselves a bullish and gulfing kingstick pattern right and then what followed a bearish and gulfing kingstick pattern right we are going to get in deep guys right so what you have to understand here guys is that once this forms this means now that the power of the buyers and the sellers are at equilibrium remember now that price is on our uh, on our support right there or price is on our flip zone right there so once this forms this means now that we do not know whether the buyers are in control or whether the sellers are in control this just means now that um uh, uh, they have equal strength right right they have equal strength why because we had ourselves a what we had ourselves a bullish and gaffing candlestick pattern and now we have ourselves a bearish and gaffing candlestick pattern right so the power that they have you know the 50 percent uh, 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 the, the buyers have got 50 percent and the sellers have got 50 percent now why is this important this is important guys why because this is going to make us this is going to help us in taking accurate entries right why because now you are going to be able to draw these two points here these two points here isn't it that here price is on your what price is on your support and the only thing that you are looking to do when price is on your flip zone is if you want to buy right this is why i always tell you guys that you should give the market enough time for it to show you where it really wants to go now what is going to happen here is that if price goes below that support like that that line right there it means now that the buyers didn't really have that much strength right so we shouldn't be looking to buy the buyers are very very weak but now if price just continuously moves to the upward and then it goes above that line right there what is this going to mean this is also going to mean that now the buyers are very very powerful than the sellers 
We need to put the bus and the sellers to a test, guys. We need to put them in a match whereby we are going to see that, okay, sharp, they have fought, and this is, this, it, it's whether the sellers or the bus that basically won. Right? So here we have bearish and bullish and graphing kings depending. But now, if the bus are able to push price and then they are able to push price above that line, what is that going to mean? It will mean now that, okay, sharp, the sellers that go introduced themselves there, they are no match for the buyers. Then we can now successfully buy when price is just on that flip zone right there. Now we can just buy nicely. Right? So let us then look at what then happened, guys. So this is a momentum tester, basically. We are just testing the power of the buyers. Right? Before, before you bet, guys, before you bet on the buyers, before you put your money onto the buyers, we have to test them. Right? Okay, let us then look at what then happened. And then you can clearly see that the buyers were able to push price to the upward. Right? They were able to push price to the upward. Right? So the sellers weren't able to push price to the downer right there. And what then happened next? What then happened next, as you guys can see, price just continuously moved to the upward. Why? Because the buyers proved themselves that no, man. We do see some sellers introducing themselves using that bullish and Gaffin Kingstick pattern, but they are very, very weak. They are no match for us. Right? So same thing that is about to happen here, guys. Same thing that is about to happen here. Price is in a support right there. Right? Price is in a support zone right there. Right? And then we did have also for what? A bullish and gaffing king stick pattern where? A bullish and gaffing king stick pattern there. And then a bullish and gaffing king stick pattern right there, guys. Right? So now, if it does happen that price comes below that bullish and gaffing king stick pattern, then the sellers are strong. If it does happen that price comes above this bullish and gaffing king stick pattern, then you know we can buy. Right? So now, um, if price is going to move above there, then it will mean now that the bars that entered on this support right there, they are very, very strong, right? So now, this will mean now that the bars, they have proved themselves. We need the bars to prove themselves, guys. And these two and Gaffin King stick patterns, them forming, this is just uh, we, we, this is just the bars and the sellers in a match. They are fighting against each other, Right? And whoever wins is going to show themselves by doing what? By crossing either that line or that line right there. Right? So I hope you did find value, guys, in this video. If you did, do smash on that like button for me. See you on the next one. Goodbye.